All right, so what we want to do in the Solution Explorer on the right is go to the relevant module. In this case, it's VST3. We want to right click on it and go to Properties at the bottom. We're going to select Debugging. And then on the Command target, we're going to see this uh, drop down arrow that appears. And we're going to click uh, the Browse button. Now we are going to look for our audio plugin host. Right, so programming, juice, extras, audio plugin host, builds. My case is Visual Studio 2017. And then under x64, debug, app. Here's the host. Click OK to close that window. Right, and now we need to do apply to save it. And now we need to uh, build this guy build the VST3 version. All right, build succeeded. Okay, so what we can do to test this out is to right click on this and then do debug, start new instance. This is gonna open the audio plugin host. And there it is. All right, the next thing we need to do is scan for our plugins. So we need to go to plugins. Uh, so we need to go to the options menu uh, edit list of available plugins. And here's where we can scan. Scan for new or updated VST3 plugins. Right, and here's our PFM Project Zero. So now I can right click. It's under your company because I didn't specify any names or anything. Instantiate it like that. Now this doesn't have any, um, there's no way to wire it up to the output so we have to configure that. That's changed the audio device settings. I would need to pick something. Uh, we'll just do that. Right now I get some stereo output. Now I can wire this up. Just drag it, drag from node to node, right like that. All right. Once you've done that, oh here's the here's our little plugin. All right. Once we do that, we're good to go. We can save this file, save as. All right, and we want to save this with our uh, with our project. So we'll go to our um, go to where our project is stored, the juicer file and whatnot and save it save it alongside it and then commit it and add it to the repo just like we did in the uh in the mac video